Hello and welcome to Hansgrohe Technical Talk. My name is Keith Dyson. I hope you enjoy this short demonstration. To gain access for servicing and maintenance of the iBox shower, we first need to identify how the handle is fixed to the splines of the iBox. There are two different ways of fixing. So you investigate the handle and if there is a hole in there, there is a grub screw which you simply loosen and the handle will come off. If there is no hole, then it's on a quick click connector. Now it's always good practice to remove the handle on where you want to put it back on when you finish the service. So in this case, we're going to put it to the safety stop point and it's a fast sharp pull and it comes away. And it's the same for the diverter handle. We'll put it in the off position and it's a fast sharp pull. If you're struggling to get them off, it's always a good idea to wear rubber gloves to help grip the chrome. You simply then edge away the face of the, the face plate off the wall, off its housing, and you can gain access for maintenance. To remove the thermostat, first we have to remove the safety stop sleeve. It's a good idea to remember what orientation the safety stop point is. To show you closely, the safety stop button from the handle hits at this point here. So we've taken this off at six o'clock position. So when we put it back on again, it's in the same orientation. That comes away. And then you've got access to the nut that holds a thermostat cartridge in place. Please make sure you've got the water turned off before removing this. And you simply have a spanner on here to remove the thermostat cartridge. It comes out in one barrel so there's no springs flying out it's easy to maintain and clean and these are the filters the hot filter and the cold filter you'll also notice on this cartridge this particular one there's a slight upstand here this is a locator which locates to the same point within the brass body so it's in its right orientation so after servicing the valve grease up the o-rings make sure the locators are in line place it back in and tighten the thermostat back in place and that is your thermostat removed cleaned and serviced to remove the flow control cartridge first we need to unscrew the decorative sleeve don't forget to turn the water off before we loosen the back nut that holds the cartridge in place place our spanner on the nut and loosen this section. The whole cartridge comes out in one barrel. If for whatever ever reason you're having to replace the cartridge, you need to unscrew this extension spline off the old one and install it onto the new one by using this Allen key. You'll notice on the back of the cartridge are two pins, locating pins, which marry up to two holes inside the brass body, so it's in its correct orientation. So when installing it back in, Make sure the pins are located correctly. Place the back nut on and screw in tight. To gain access to the non-return valves, we first need to remove the faceplate housing ring here. It's held in by four nylon screws. I've already removed some of them for speed of this demonstration. Using a flat edge screwdriver, Remove the screws and remove the housing ring like so. Now before removing the brass block out of the valve to gain access to the non-return valves, again please make sure that the water is turned off. The brass block is held in position with four 4mm Allen key bolts, which are located in all four corners of the brass block. I've already removed some for speed of this demonstration. So once all the bolts have been removed, you can now remove the valve out of the eye box and gain access to the non-return valves. Check the operation of the non-return valves by pressing the plungers and also check to see if there's any debris holding the plunger in the open position and clean if necessary. If you need to replace a non-return valve using a small flat edge screwdriver just inside and to the side wall you can edge the non-return valve out like so and to replace it simply press it back into its housing. Before installing the brass block back into the eye box, just make sure that all the O-rings are in place. Place the brass block into the eye box and screw all four screws 
nice and tight to hold the brass block into the eye box. Then you've got the securing ring here and if you use some silicone grease on the nylon threads and tighten the screws into the eye box. Being careful not to cross thread them. When tightening them you just want to gently nip the securing ring to the tiles. To reinstall the finish set faceplate, handles and set the thermostat temperature, first of all we need to screw on the decorative shroud that goes over the flow control. This simply goes over the flow control and screws into position like so. Then we have the safety stop sleeve here. Now be, be in mind on what orientation this goes onto the thermostat housing. So this particular model, the safety stop point is here and the, the button on the handle is on the underside of the handle. So the safety stop point goes at six o'clock, like so. On some models, the safety stop button on the handle is at, on the top. So the safety stop sleeve has to go at 12 o'clock. So the button corresponds with this part here. So this model is at six o'clock, like so. Then, we lightly grease the o-rings here and the inside of this um, sleeve here and we press this on over the sleeves and onto the housing and pressing it against the tiles like so. Now the flow control handle has got a marking here so we know that this is in the off position so the marking goes at 12 o'clock. This is on a quick click connector like so. And then we need to set the temperature um, of the shower. So basically we put the handle on temporarily. We turn on the shower and place a thermometer under the shower and we adjust the thermostat until we get approximately 40 degrees. So for argument's sake, say 40 degrees, the handle's in this orientation. But we know the sleeve underneath has been placed at six o'clock where the stop point is to correspond with the button underneath. So all we need to do now is we've set the thermostat spline and the cartridge to 40 degrees. So we we'll remove the thermostat handle, turn it so the button is at six o'clock and place it back on the spline of the thermostat. Now the button corresponds with the safety stop sleeve that we put in earlier. So when you go from cold to hot, it stops at the safety stop point, which should be approximately 40 degrees because you've set it. Press the button underneath, then you can go to the full hot zone.